In this video we're going to learn how to create a poster in the style of Shepard Ferry's Barack Obama Hope poster. Shepard Ferry was a street artist who made this poster during the presidential campaign of 2008 and he made this in support of Barack Obama. First of all he made a few copies of the poster and they sold very well and so he made more with the money that he made and soon it became a viral sensation so the poster went everywhere got everywhere it was put on mugs t-shirts and everybody saw it the social media and people were sharing it through word of mouth in the end millions of the this image were made so since people were seeing this image everywhere they of course started parodying it and changing it for their own benefits and propaganda and for jokes so we're going to do something quite similar to that and we're going to recreate this image using our own people that we want to use and our own words and here are a couple of examples of people who have done that and changed this poster for themselves. So instead of hope in this Barack Obama one we've got the word done. Then you've got all the issues that I guess Obama has been looking at. ISIS, Ebola, Putin, NSA, all sorts. Leaks, hype. Obama's looking a little worse for wear. Debt instead of hope. Slope. Nice little rhyme there. Obama sliding down some kind of gradient. Ho ho hope. Festive one for the Yuletide season. Dope. So this must be for George Bush. Quite a flattering picture there. This was Obama's rival. And instead of hope there was despair. Uh, this is a British one. So this is the BMP. Hate instead of hope. Ooh. Hopeless. This is the infamous Nigel Farage there hopeless. Another one of him, absurdity. Marxism, so you've got Karl Marx there, a little cigar in his mouth. Sloth or sloth, instead of hope you got sloth. Chicken, probe, hope, probe. Bite, like that, another four letter word. Vampire, bite. Doe, Aladdin, hook, not hope, hook, bond. Dr. No Hope, Psycho, Rope instead of Hope, Rope, you've got Indiana Jones with his Rope, A New Hope, one for the Jedis, Home, Welcome Home, okay, Star Trek, Soup, Seinfeld, House, not Home but House, Bean, you got Alan Partridge, Imagine, and Justin Bieber. So let's get on with the task. I'm going to replace Barack Obama with Russell Brand and change the word hope for joke with a question mark. Recently David Cameron called Russell Brand a joke. Now from the desktop we go to Safari and I'm going to type in Barack Obama poster. From that images then large I'm going to add the word hope as well. And now you need to find that poster so search for the image and once you've found a large version of that poster then pull it onto the desktop. Now I'm going to search for Russell Brand. I'm looking for a, a nice big picture of him. This one's quite good. We'll drag it in. We minimize that and then open Photoshop. So file, open, then open both of those two files together. Press shift and you can collect them both and open. Then we're going to cut this image out using the polygon lasso. The polygon lasso is on the left hand side. Third one down, yep. And we, we'll cut it. You can use the navigator on the right to zoom in. If you don't have the navigator on the right, then go to window and then halfway down you'll find navigator and that'll bring it up for you. Then we're going to cut round the hair. This will take a moment, so I'll just zip through it. Once that's done, there might be a few extra bits that you want to add to that selection. So you can press shift, select extra stuff, 
and once you've double clicked that then that will be selected too and now we're going to edit cut that selection go to the other tab and edit paste now we're going to image adjustments and then desaturate that'll make the image of Russell black and white and then we'll free transform it to get it to the right size once it's exactly the size you want then you want to get rid of those parts of the picture that are overlapping with the border so use the navigator to zoom in and then select the parts of the picture that are over the border so once those borders are selected they can be cleared using the backspace next we want to go to filter and then filter gallery and then find the cutout tool and you can zoom out on the left hand side if you want we've got the cutout tool there so you can change the variations on the right the number of levels edge simplicity edge fidelity and you want to change the levels to this 551 so number of levels 5 edge simplicity 5 edge fidelity 1 okay now the next thing is image adjustments and then posterize and then change the levels to 5 and press OK so we've got the style that we want but we need to change it so it's the colors of the original poster so that's a beige, a red, a light blue and a dark blue so we can go to the color box at the bottom and we can change the color to a beige first and then we go to the paint pot and zoom in and what we want to do is fill in all the light parts in beige so I'm now going to click on all the lightest parts and fill them in beige spin this on now we're going to change the color to red and we use this for the second lightest tones so anything that you haven't done in beige the lightest parts will do in red now so that's the cheeks just above the beard little elements on the neck we're now going to adjust the color to light blue so the third lightest parts will be in light blue make sure you get all of them next we adjust the color to dark blue and those dark blues will be put in the fourth darkest parts now if you make a mistake you can press edit and step backwards this is going to take a while so I'm just going to move on move on move on until it's all done now I press on the eyeball to get rid of the poster in the background and you'll see that a checkerboard is there in its place that's when there's nothing on screen you have this checkerboard I did that so I could focus on the face rather than the background but once that's done I'm going to press on that little box and an eyeball appears again and you see that the poster returns and the hope symbol at the bottom returns too now there are parts of the poster that you can still see from the Barack Obama version that we don't want so I'm going to select the Barack Obama poster and I'm going to clear half of his face so it doesn't appear in the background of the Russell Brand image and then using the paint pot we replace the color with red and then zooming out we press that little box so that the eye appears again and you'll see that the background is completely red now I'm going to touch up a couple of details this might take a moment so I'm just going to zip on to the next bit so now that we've caught all the detail we can go to the bottom layer and we're going to change this text here we're going to change the hope to joke with a question mark and so you go to the text tool on the left hand side and we can change the pixels to about let's say 200 now when we put the text down it's very hard to actually see so let's change that color to a red so we can see that text so you have to highlight it first change the color to red okay now the original hope poster was done using Gotham but we don't have Gotham but instead I'm just going to use Arial Black because it's easy to find on Photoshop already now the text is too big so we'll change the pixels to a bit smaller so I'm matching it up there are those five letters that are going in let's change it to 500 yeah 500 pixels seems about right for five letters drag that down so that's sitting on top of the hope now select hope we cut it out and then we paint part over the top 
we can put the joke back let's change that to a light blue so let's save it Barack Obama brand joke question mark popster no poster so we save it to desktop and as a JPEG and save make sure it is JPEG and OK and that's done and there on the desktop is the final poster and that's how to create a poster in the style of Shepherd Ferry.